In this coaster fight, we will be going over which of the two world-class wooden roller coasters is better. So here you can see we have the Voyage lined up, but what is the other world-class wooden roller coaster that everyone fights with it over? Well, that wooden roller coaster the Voyage will be facing in today's coaster battle is Versing El Toro, another world-class renowned wooden roller coaster. These two roller coasters are easily in my top 10, and they are phenomenal roller coasters. They are fantastic. Everything about these roller coasters are amazing. They literally have no flaw whatsoever, except here and there. And the flaws I removed in the categories because they're both equally as bad. Such as, one, being the theming. So if you don't see the theming, then that means that... Both these roller coasters really have no theming whatsoever. Like, okay, so the El Toro has a Spanish-themed bull-like station. So what? That's really nothing. It literally is just a carved bull station with no theming in it whatsoever. So, why why would it matter? Why would I just throw El Toro one point just for that? Because the Voyage has no theming whatsoever, not even a carved station or anything like that. But El Toro at least has the Spanish bull-looking station that was used in the ancient times almost. So... I removed that category for this coaster fight, theming, so don't be saying, oh, did you skip over theming, because I think you did, blah, 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 because no, I didn't, I just didn't include it in this coaster fight, because they're both equally as bad in theming, also known as no theming whatsoever. And I also removed for just coaster fights in general, especially these two roller coasters, restraints. So restraints, they are both equally the same, and if you ask me, the restraints are both equally as... Alike. Like, if you pushed them down too far, they hurt your thighs. But if you pushed, like, for example, if you push down a Toro with the seatbelt and the lap bar, it'll hurt your thighs as hell. Like, hell, hell. Voyage, same thing. If you push it down too far, because it can move a little bit further down, you're not going to have that great of a time. So, restraints, I just moved down. And it's really, that's just personal experience as well, not just overall. So, that's why I remove restraints. And I will probably still be using the restraints category, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Tell me what you think about that in the comments below. But without further ado, let's begin. The Voyage versus El Toro. Two amazing wooden roller coasters that are widely ranked the two best wooden roller coasters in the world. First up is the height category, and this height category is worth only one point, because really height doesn't matter, because you have, you can have a roller coaster like Ma like Maverick. Maverick is a small roller coaster, not a big roller coaster whatsoever. However, the stuff that it packs, the intensity, the launch, the inversions, and all that stuff, it makes it one of the best roller coasters out there. So the height is really nothing. That's why it's only worth one point. So the Voyage is around almost 170 feet, and El Toro is 181 feet. Yep, I remember that, because I've been riding El Toro for years and years. But El Toro is considerably slightly taller so for that el toro will be getting the point so now the score is zero to one so el toro is now in the lead but just by one point it is just the start no worries but el toro is still considerably higher if you go by generosity Next up is the speed, and this is also worth one point, because the speed really means nothing. Again, if you take a roller coaster like Maverick, that only goes, what, like 57, 58 miles per hour? And again, same with the height, it is still one of the best roller coasters out there. So speed really means absolutely nothing. And here, it really means nothing at all, because El Toro and the Voyage are literally 3 miles per hour difference. The Voyage goes 67 miles per hour, and El Toro goes 70 miles per hour. Honestly, this is just a random click on, but the voyage is still slower by three miles per hour. So if you are still talking general, El Toro, yes, is faster. However, this is really just a random addition. You don't even need to complain about this because it is still using common sense. El Toro is still three miles per hour faster. However, it is really nothing. So honestly, you have to be really scientific to tell the difference, which I am not too scientific in the head. But, you know, you have to really be well focused on the speed to know that it's going faster, El Toro, than the Voyage. Because, honestly, I felt a bare difference. Bare difference. But El Toro is still faster, so El Toro's getting the new point. 
Now the drop. In Like and Coaster Reviews, this isn't how big the drop is, because the Voyage and El Toro's drop are literally as well almost the same height. However, El Toro's drop is legitimately world class. It is one of the best drops on any roller coaster out there. While the Voyage is more like just a traditional wooden roller coaster, a slightly steep drop. El Toro dominates this category, although it's only worth one point. Wait, oh my god, that typo. Because, yes, the drop is worth two points, but, yeah, I know, yeah, sorry about that, please excuse that. But the drop is really worth two points, and El Toro will be getting those two points, because El Toro is really the better drop here. It is a bigger drop, not only that, but it's a steeper drop and it's a more intense drop. You fly under the wood. El Toro's drop is without a doubt one of the best drops in any roller coaster. If you like steep, intense drops, you'll like this drop. Now as for the duration. Now the voyage is a domination in this category. El Toro is literally a minute and 42 seconds. The Voyage, on the other hand, I felt it was almost three minutes. The Voyage is one of the longest roller coasters out there, and for sure, one of the longest wooden roller coasters out there. I believe it is right up there with the Beast when it comes to length, because it is an ultra long roller coaster it is honestly i felt it was one of the, it was maybe one of maybe the longest roller coaster i've been on i still have to calculate that that was maybe right twisted colossus probably just a lift hill then there was yeah the voyage is right up there when it, if i had to put a list of like top 10 longest roller coaster i've been on the voyage would be like probably top five ish so duration two points score two to four but now the voyage starts to get a point and it is now half el toro's winning but the voyage wins this category and if you ask me the voyage dominates this category not just wins dominates because el toro with what it packs in it, it's fine and dandy, but still, the duration is not long at all. Especially with how fast it flies through the tracking, it is all the more shorter. It's honestly like a minute and a half, and the voyage is almost three minutes. Crazy, crazy. Now for the intensity category, it's worth three points, because honestly, intensity is a major factor for a good roller coaster. And El Toro is easily one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever ridden, easily 10 out of 10 when it comes to intensity. The Voyage, on the other hand, is more about the ultra awesome airtime. However, the intensity is also good, like you definitely have an intense ride on it, but it is, especially at night, at night it's all the more intense. However, I don't think it is as intense as El Toro, so if you ask me, El Toro is going to be getting the edge when it comes to intensity, but Voyage is still a very intense ride, don't get me, don't let me, don't get me wrong, because El, but El Toro is just one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever been on, and it probably won't change like that. Next up, we have another major, major factor to a good roller coaster, and this is the airtime. That's why it is as well worth three points, and the Voyage is the most airtime of any roller coaster, and it goes by that gain. Because when I was on the Voyage, I felt awesome airtime, and I was flying out of my seat. Mainly floater airtime, but you're out of your seat for a long time ass time the el toro has mainly ejector airtime and it's still awesome airtime easily a great amount of airtime el toro is also if i had to make a list of like top 10 airtime fulfilled roller coasters el toro and the voyage would be pretty close called however the voyage also dominates this in every way this the voyage on el toro is awesome now the smooth and the smoothest category this is hard because the Voyage is a smooth roller coaster, however, it has a traditional rickety rattle type to a wooden roller coaster. El Toro used to be butter, butter smooth. However, now it gained a slight jolty rattle. However, it is still smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. The tracking's smooth. It's butter smooth still. And the, but the Voyage and El Toro, I'd say, are about equally smooth at this point yes i'm saying it the voyage and el toro both have like a classic rickety rattle roll to it because like el toro is probably still slightly smoother but honestly they both get the point because i'm not just going to give el toro the point just because it's slightly 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 smoother because it really isn't pretty close call now Next up is the layout, and now the layout is worth two points. And if you ask me, the Voyage and El Toro's layouts are two different layouts. However, El Toro has just a, just a good compact layout, and El, and the Voyage layout is very spread out through the mountain, is through the to, through like the forest and stuff, and through Thunderbird and all that. And if you ask me, I like that better. If you ask me, the Voyage has a better layout than El Toro. Although El Toro has that compact, awesome layout, the Voyage has that spread out, 
fly through the trees everywhere like you're soaring layout and i like that better kind of like lightning rod el toro if you ask me lightning rods layout's better than el toro i like it when it's flying through the trees and all that and there's a ton of near misses and that provides it with the voyage el toro is just intense and compact but there's really no like you know you're not flying through anywhere like you're not flying spread out through the trees and all that but the voyage provides that absolutely so if you ask me the voyage gets that so now the bank turns. Now the bank turns category, if you ask me, they both, both do great in the, cat, in the bank turns. However, El Toro has, if you ask me, it flies through the bank turns. The Voyage kind of slowly churns into the bank turns, like intense still, but the El Toro flies through them at 70 miles per hour because it does not let up speed whatsoever. So it's a lot more intense when it comes to the bank turns. So if you ask me, El Toro wins that with bank turns. So the winner is El Toro. Now if you ask me, they're too close call as hell wooden roller coasters and roller coasters in general. They are both on my list of top 10 roller coasters I've ever been on. I'm not so sure, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that El Toro is in my top 5. I'm not 100% sure if Voyage is in my top 5, but if not, top 7 probably. At the least, top 10. They are both awesome recommended roller coasters, and if you have not ridden any of these roller coasters yet, I suggest you hit them up ASAP. And if you have ridden Voyage, I highly recommend you try El Toro as well. And if you are always on El Toro like I am, I suggest trying out the Voyage, because then your opinions could be unlike mine, because honestly, the Voyage and El Toro literally car crash into each other. It is crazy how close they are. And now another one that I'm thinking about doing is the Voyage versus Lightning Rod because that also could be very interesting, possibly even 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 closer call. But you know, you know the drill. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below and let me know. Do you like the Voyage better than El Toro or do you like El Toro and do you agree with me that El Toro is slightly better than the Voyage? Please let me know and if you have any criticism against how I plan this out, please let me know. But no, nothing harsh. I would rather not be harsh because then I'll probably just end up being harsh on you, which I do not tend to like to do. <laughs> so... Just let me know in the comments what you think below. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time on a coaster battle on Coaster Mania's channel. Congratulations, El Toro.